Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. This is Holly from Heartlight Tarot and Astrology. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra for May 2024. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. I work with energies of the tarot along with what's going on astrologically to give you guys a predictive forecast. So if that's something that you're inter interested in, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Um, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, there's a lot of love potential possibilities for the sign of Libra this month. Um, you guys have had, you know, Mercury retrograde going on in your seventh house already. Um, and now Mercury is direct. It's in a shadow. So think of Mercury just waking up and returning to the degrees that it went retrograde in. And just, con just think of it as like having his coffee waking up and just, um, coming to basically, um, but it's in your seventh house of others, partnerships, legal and legal contracts. So in that area, you had to move forward with something in regards to a legal um, contract or a partnership. It's a possibility that things may have ended with you and you're now thinking about yourself. Um, considering, you know, that first part of that eclipse was in your first house of you. You know, you had to let something go with that lunar eclipse, that um, first part to the two-part eclipse series. Um, so overall, you know, there's possibilities of changes that have been happening in your relationship and changes that are going to happen coming up here soon, considering Mercury's direct. And it's going to be moving into, you know, Taurus, which is your eighth house of sex, magic, power, other people's money, inheritance, taxes. So you might be noticing that you're, you know, even if you didn't leave a relationship and your relationship has stayed and remained intact, you might be noticing that you might be signing some kind of... <clears throat> Um, real estate contract with somebody, maybe buying a house. That's a possibility. Maybe taking your relationship to the next step if you are in a relationship. Um, but on the 3rd of May, Mars in Aries, okay? It likes being in Aries. That's your seventh house of, you know, others, legal contracts, um, relationships, right? So it's sextiling Pluto and Aquarius. We know Pluto has been in your fifth house of self-expression, love affairs. Um, so there is a possibility that, you know, with Pluto being in there and shaking things up, you might be noticing you're having more love affairs than usual if you are single. Um, maybe your inner child is being expressed more. Uh, maybe you're learning about you to love yourself again. That's a possibility. Um, but with Mars and Aries, Aries in your house of others and relationships and partnerships, it's making a sextile. So it's a very positive aspect um, with your fifth house of love affairs. So you might be finding yourself, um, you know, finding a new person to being an affair with. And it's like passionate and sexy. Okay. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? You know, Venus is in its domicile right now. It really loves to be in your eighth house um, right now, which is ruled by Taurus. Venus is in Taurus, um, which is uh, sex and magic and power. So you might be noticing that your sex life has been uh, transforming into something that is uh, very magical. And you feel really comfortable with this person if you are already with somebody, or maybe that's something that's going to happen between you and somebody that you're thinking about. Maybe that's why you're watching this video. Um, so I see sexy possibilities here. Um, with, you know, Venus being in your eighth house, and Mercury is going to be moving from your seventh house into your eighth house. So maybe this person that you guys, that you have met, you've been dating, um, it's really gotten sexy and passionate and and maybe you're thinking about moving to the next phase and step in your life. Um, maybe there's a possibility here on the 17th with um, Mercury in your eighth house of, you know, sex and other people's money and finances and stuff like that. Um, it's squaring your sixth house of, or I'm sorry, your fifth house of, you know, your self-expression and your love affairs. So maybe something... Um, something's getting in the way of you guys truly connecting um and on a deeper level psychologically too because you know the how eighth house it rules psychological um you know your psyche um so you, you just might be noticing that you're thinking about you know being more expressive to this potential love partner but there might be something getting in the way like taxes insurance or money might be getting in the way of you guys really deeply connecting the way you want to um, 
So like I was saying, Venus likes to be uh, in, in Taurus, right? And it's going to be conjuncting Jupiter in there. So you might be noticing there might be a lot of expansion in, you know, the magic and sex partnership um, of your relationship that you're in right now or with somebody possibly here in the future that you meet in the month of May. Um, on the 23rd, Venus is conjunct Jupiter and Taurus. Venus in Taurus is sextiling Neptune and Pisces. You know, Jupiter and Taurus is sextiling Neptune and Pisces. So Neptune likes to be in the sign of Pisces. It's a very dreamy energy. Pisces rules your work service, your employment. Um, so you might be noticing that there's somebody at your work that you're noticing as sexy or they're looking at you as sexy. You're really seeing each other in this very exotic way. Um, and you're, you're fantasizing about them. Maybe you guys are talking about, um, you know, being together physically. That's a possibility too. Um, we have, May, you know, Venus is going to be moving signs here. It's going to be moving into Gemini. There's a lot of Gemini energy and Gemini rules your ninth house of, you know, your goals, your meaning in life, your higher education, foreign travel, your philosophy. So, you, you know, with Venus moving into that sign, it's going to be trining your fifth house of love affairs, right? So you might be noticing that this person that you're with, you guys want to go on a long trip together. You guys um, have the same goals and the same direction in life. And it's it's looking really good um, on the 25th, okay? Um, um, let me back up a little bit. On the May 15th, Mercury enters Taurus, which is the house, you know, of sex and magic. So I'm just saying when Mercury and Venus come together, you might be talking about, um, you know, some kind of tantric sex love affair. Um, and you might be just really noticing that relationships and the possibility of relationships and being sexy and intimate with somebody is something that you really like to talk about. I'm um, considering Mercury is going to be direct and it's going to be in that eighth house. Um, so back to where I was. Um, yeah, so I see here on the th on May 30th, there's going to be a lot of shakes up, shake ups in your sex and power and magic. Um, possibly in the bedroom, Libra. It's a very sexy energy, very, a lot of possibilities. I feel like this person intrigues you. Um, you know, you have the new moon in Taurus of, you know, your taxes and your debts and inheritance and sex. So you might be opening up new possibilities for sex um, and uh, new possibilities of um, money situations kind of clearing up. So it gives you an opportunity to be with somebody. Uh, you guys got some positive fortune oracle cards here you guys got proposal and unity um a romantic business opportunity is indicated so or business opportunity is indicated considering this is a uh, love reading i feel like there's going to be an opportunity for love here it's really connecting with your astrology considering you just had that retrograde in that house of other people um you know relationship with other people and relationships in general a time of divine understanding uh, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate. You radiate and attract great love. So you guys got number twenty-seven and number thirty-four. If those are a significance of, to you, you guys, you got proposal and unity. So there's an opportunity for business. Um, maybe you are going into business with somebody, and they end up being a romantic uh, love affair. That's a possibility as well. I feel like this 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 connection that's coming up or this connection that's happening right now is divine. And there's no way um, to really escape it. I feel like this is something you're going to have to go through and see if it's new. Um, just ride the waves and just enjoy yourself and be sexy. And, and um, it's telling you that you're attracting great love right now. And you're very attractive to this person. And this person's very attractive to you. That right now, in this time, um, it's right. It's the right thing to do. You're being blessed to move forward. Okay, it's very positive and beautiful and sexy. I'm gonna get you guys a current energy. Um, you guys got the magician. I feel like you've been there, done that, in a lot of ways that are not love related, or maybe some of it is love related. Considering you know the cup is part of the magician's energy, and the cup rules our emotions, but what I'm trying to say is when you've been there and done that, you've had, you have a lot of wisdom and you're able to take it into your relationship. And you know that I feel like this relationship right now, you're going to come at it with more wisdom. If it's something that's been going on for a while, I do feel like this is kind of new. Maybe this is a new step in a relationship or this is somebody that knew that you're meeting. Um, I feel like you have, you have the uttermost confidence in yourself to 
to really um, rein this energy in and make something out of it if that's what it's meant to be. But the magician, he keeps an open mind. So that's what the energy that you're um, getting from you guys right now. You're you're keeping an open mind um, and just kind of enjoying the the sexiness and the romance of this, this uh, energy. Let me know in the comment box below how this resonates. I really want to know. All right, you guys got, for your past energy, you got the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you had your head down and you were working really hard. Um, maybe um, it's time to play a little bit. <clears throat> I'm noticing that maybe you're feeling like you don't always have to work so hard. Uh, you're working so hard to kind of get your mind off something. Maybe to possibly get through that retrograde energy. And, you know, we had a lot of... Um, You know, also too, this card reminds me, sorry, I, I paused. I just got a thought. This card reminds me of, um, you know, earth energy, right? Where pentacles are foundations. It reminds me of what's happening right now with Jupiter being in your eighth house. It's been in Jupiter, um, you know, Jupiter's been in Taurus for the past year and really uh, expanding, um, you know, in your house, other people's money right? Inheritances, taxes, real estate. So you might have been noticing yourself working really hard in regards to your home, um, real estate issues, taxes issues, really trying to get things in line so that you can move forward. Um, really working really hard to, to, to pay off some things. Um, and now you just feel like that was the last piece of the puzzle is what I'm getting here because with the magician here, he's just ready or any possibility now because of everything that he's been through and the wisdom that he has from past lives, okay, and from past experiences. Um, I'm going to get you guys a future card. This one popped out. You guys got the chariot. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with, a water sign. Um, if it's not a cancer, then that it just shows me that you know, you're able to push through here. You have two major arcana cards. You have the magician, you have the chariot. Those are very major cards of the tarot deck. Um, and for them to be back to back, I just feel like right now in this time in your life, there's something very intense happening and, and you're keeping an open mind. And it's almost as if you're keeping really calm because you know that you can handle it. You know what you did in the past, or you know what you learned in the past from seeing other people, or maybe um, this past life experiences possible. Um, just really opening up your mind that you have what it takes and you'll figure life out no matter what. And you'll figure this relationship out with the chariot. I feel like you're not letting your emotions get the best of you. You're just enjoying the ride. Okay. Um, and that could be metaphorically speaking. Um, that could be physically speaking. Maybe you're just enjoying each other and kind of getting through these hurdles and these bumps in a very smart way and not letting your emotions take over. Cause maybe that's something that you were used to being around in the past who knows maybe you're around a lot of drama before and you really just want to take it you know one step at a time um, i'm going to get you guys a love oracle card let me get you two one at a time for the sign of libra may 2024 you guys got patience <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to put it with this one. Patience, some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest. Okay. Um, I feel like that's very true. Okay. With, um, you know, this energy in, in your eighth house, I feel like something is holding you back from this connection. Um, but you're handling it like a boss. You're handling the things as they come up and enjoying yourself along the ride. You're, you know, accepting the proposal of being with this somebody maybe somebody is going to propose to you that's possible and then maybe in order for you to continue with marrying this person you need to uh, deal with something first maybe let something go maybe you are were in a relationship before and it's time for you to move forward and there's some this loose ends you need to tie up um, but i feel like whatever this is, is this is a great love okay it's supposed to happen at this point in your life um, let me know in the comment box below who this is, like what, what this is about. Um, I would really appreciate you subscribing. If you haven't already hit the notification bell, share with a friend. You guys got talking. Yeah. I feel like you're talking a lot with this person. You're interested with this person. You're talking more than you would with this person. Maybe like I was saying, if you guys are together, things are really in intensifying and becoming very passionate. You're getting a lot of messages from this person, this text, phone calls. Um, they may be feeling, you may be feeling like this person is just kind of all about you or maybe you're all about them. Um, but the magician, 
in the current energy in the chariot just tells me you're going to move forward in this in this in the, this situation very uh in a very smart way um but it, this is a destined relationship and connection you guys are meant to unite right now um uh yeah so let me know in the comment box below how this is and i wish you all the best it's a very beautiful sexy energy so um and i'll see you guys next time in your may horoscopes bye libra